Today's pics and videos are brought thanks to Lily Cornish Rex. The Cornish Rex is the result of a spontaneous genetic mutation that originated from a litter of kittens born in the 1950s on a farm in Cornwall, UK. One of the kittens, a cream-colored male named Calabunker, had an extremely unusual, fine, and curly coat. Nina Ennismore, who made this discovery, had bred and exhibited Asterix rabbits, shortened to Rex rabbits, so she knew this cat was special. Thanks to the assistance of a British geneticist named A.C. Jude, Ennismore was able to cross the single curly-haired kitten successfully to produce the original stock from which all Cornish Rexes descend. In 1957, a breeding pair of Cornish Rex that was directly related to Calabunker was imported into the United States. They were eventually bred with Burmese, Siamese, and British shorthair cats. Even though the resulting kittens had short coats with normal hair, they all carried the recessive gene, and subsequent breedings typically produced kittens with the short, curly coats that make these cats so remarkable. The breed was granted official recognition by the American Cat Fanciers Association and the Canadian Cat Association in 1963. The Cat Fanciers Association gave the breed its stamp of approval in 1964. Today, the Cornish Rex has gained worldwide popularity and is recognized by all cat registries. Since they stand high on their legs, they appear to be large cats until you pick them up. Because of the slender boning on the Cornish Rex, they may feel almost dainty, but these cats are athletic and not at all fragile. In fact, the breed is sometimes referred to as the Greyhound of the cats because of the sleek appearance and the galloping run characteristic of the breed. The head is small and egg-shaped, rising from a long, slender neck. High, prominent cheekbones and a strong, well-developed chin complement the cat's narrow muzzle. Their ears, positioned high on the head, are exceptionally large and alert. Eyes are medium to large, separated by a full eyes width apart, oval-shaped with a slight upward tilt. Eye color should complement the coat color, as should nose leather and paw pad color. Cornish Rex cats should have a Roman nose that is one-third the length of the head. Their legs are long, slender, and fine-boned, and their paws should be of a slight oval shape. A Cornish Rex's tail is long, slim, and whip-like, with a distinct taper toward the end. It complements the cat's overall structure. The coat of the Cornish Rex is unique among cats. It is silky and soft, but forms waves that look a bit like cornrows. Cornish Rex cats come in a wide variety of coat colors and patterns, outlined in the breed standard. Solid colors include white, black, chocolate, and orange, and the dilutes, blue, lilac, and cream. Also in all forms of tabby, including classic, mackerel, and tick tabbies, bicolor or tuxedo coats in many colors, protoshell, smoke colors, and the color point pattern standard in the Siamese breed. Most breeds of cats have three different types of hair in their coats, the outer fur or guard hairs, a middle layer called the on hair, and the down hair or undercoat, which is very fine and about one centimeter long. Cornish Rexes have no guard hairs. The Devon Rex looks similar in appearance to the Cornish Rex but the Devon Rex mutation is different from the Cornish Rex mutation in that the Devon has shortened guard hairs. At first, breeders believed that their curly coats might be related and the two could be bred to each other. This breeding was attempted but the resulting kittens all had straight coats. This result happened every time the breeding was tried, so the curly-coated cats were determined to be two distinct breeds. Later, feline geneticists discovered that Rex cats are produced only when both parents have the recessive gene. The Cornish Rex is a small to a medium-sized cat. They typically weigh between 6 and 10 pounds, between 3 and 4.5 kilograms. Cornish Rex cats have a lifespan of 11 to 15 years. The required level of physical activity is medium to high. You might think that Cornish Rex cats require minimal care due to their ultra-short coats, but this is not the case. 
These delightful felines require a little bit of special care to keep their velvety fur in tip-top shape. Furthermore, there is a common misconception that Cornish Rex cats do not shed and that they are hypoallergenic. These fascinating felines indeed shed, but very little, and they require warm baths every week or two, as their coats do not absorb the oils from their skin the same way the average cat's coat does. The reason why it's important to introduce them to bathing from a very young age. Despite some beliefs to the contrary, the Cornish Rex's short hair does not make it non- or hypoallergenic. Allergic reactions from cats are not the result of hair length, but from a glycoprotein known as FELD1, produced in the sebaceous glands of the skin, saliva, and urine. Most people with cat allergies react to this protein in cat saliva and cat dander. It is, however, widely reported to cause lesser to a little allergic reaction. These cats are athletic with long, lithe bodies. The Cornish Rex is agile and loves to jump, run, and play. They're naturally playful, with an appreciation for running, jumping, and climbing. Treat them to a cat tree, a window seat, and a wide selection of toys, without these essentials, the Cornish Rex will find their own fun, climbing furniture and stealing small objects. They will maintain their ideal weights if provided with enough space for exercise. Thanks to the clothes-lying nature of their coats, you can easily tell if a Cornish is getting too heavy. Since they are prone to sunburn and they do not have guard hairs to protect them from cold or wet conditions, they are best suited for indoor living. That's why they like to stay near warm places such as computer monitors, light bulbs, laps, and shoulders. Despite the latter, some Cornish Rexes are adventurous cats and enjoy going outdoors. They can readily adapt to new situations and will explore wherever they can go. The Cornish Rex has an outstanding, energetic drive and prominent intelligence. They will quickly become a popular companion amongst potential owners. Depicting them as one of the more dog-like cat breeds is not unusual due to their behavior. The Rex is extremely curious, seeks out the company of people, and is friendly towards other companion animals. The Cornish Rex forms strong bonds with their favorite human. If you're looking for a lap cat, you're in luck. The Cornish Rex loves to cuddle, partly because they're short, downy coat simply doesn't hold much heat and partly because the breed is exceptionally sociable. These constantly active cats do especially well in homes with children or other pets, particularly if those kids or pets have equally high energy levels. The Cornish Rex tends to alert people if they need something by meowing. They are quite expressive that way. But compared to the loud and raspy voice of the Sphinx, they seem like a mild breeze. Though the Cornish Rex is a generally healthy breed, there is one potential problem that can occur if you intend to breed your Cornish. Both type A and type B blood exist in different Cornish lineages, and if one cat of each blood type is used as a breeding pair, their kittens can be born with serious blood problems due to mismatched antibodies. Always have your Cornish Rex's blood tested before breeding to select compatible mates. Be aware that the Cornish Rex are prone to skin diseases like hypotrichosis, leading to patches of fur falling off. It can grow back, but there are no guarantees. Cornish Rex cats can develop patellar luxation, and some of them are prone to heart disease, with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy being a known issue. Last, but not least, some genetic lines have a predisposition toward deafness, a condition that is more prevalent in pure white Cornish Rex cats than in those with different colored coats. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.